Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Those no stamps, nuts, and Kirsty. <laughs> Here is another video for you guys. So guys, the other day we did a video where we spoke about the things that you have to do as a newcomer here in Canada. So today we're just going to be having a conversation around the video we had the other day. So we spoke about some of the things that you have to do as a newcomer. And today we're just going to talk to some actual newcomers to find out what are some of the fears they had before coming to Canada. I'm not new anymore. You're not new anymore? <laughs> Well, you're a new, you're an old newcomer. <laughs> you, old you were new at one point in time. Yes. So your your opinion is still valid. Yes. You're right? a veteran. She's ex a veteran, exactly. Yes. And Kirsty, you've been here now, what, two years? Three Almost years? two years. It's like one year and six months-ish. One year and six months-ish. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, of course. You know exactly when you land. So you know exactly how yeah. far it is. So... Before coming to Canada, let's start with you, Nats. Before coming to Canada, what are some of the things you are fearful about? I was fearful that um, I'll be so busy. Let's pass this over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we only have two mics, guys, so we have to share. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. You don't have to okay. There we go. I was so face I was fa um, fearful that I would, would be so busy that I wouldn't have time to take care of Malika. So mm -hmm. that was one of my fears. I think only fear that I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it? That's it. Nothing else? I, I was optimistic about everything else. I was like, yes, everything's going to work out. Mm -hmm. My only fear is that I was going to be so busy that I won't have no time to take care of my ego. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's it. And Kirsty, you're here by yourself. No, you didn't come with any spouse, kids, nope. none of that. Yeah. What was that like? What were you fearful about the most? Um, I was fearful because... Um, my approval was a surprise because I was still working in my call center job and then I quit immediately the moment that I was approved. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> <laughs> and then in my mind I was thinking like, um, what's going to happen if I'm going to go there? I'm going to go there, I'm going to study again mm -hmm. and I need to find another job and I need to do all of that stuff like bank, you know, mm -hmm. like all of my documents, all of that stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. so were you like, so were you at least optimistic that everything would have worked out though? Yeah, I was optimistic because I always hear stories that you're going to find a job in like one week. Yeah. You're going to have all of it sorted out. School's going to go. It's going to flow. Naturally. Yeah. For me, it was failing a course because at the time when I came, I was a student. If you guys are new here, uh, I was going to school. So Nasa had an open work permit and our daughter Malika had a, as, had a visitor's record. Yeah. Everything was tied back to the study permit. So if I failed at school, yeah, we were on the next flight back to Jamaica. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thought, but we won't be. You just have to um, extend your time and do it over. More but, money. Yes. But we didn't have that yeah, more well, money. We'll be going home, though. Yeah, so that was my fear, though, like just failing a course. Like, it was so pressuring because, like, there was no other option but to. To pass. to pass. So that was my fear. So now, Kirsty, you've been here now one year, six months. Mm -hmm. You've gotten a job within one week after being here. <laughs> All of those things. Um, are you happy you made the move to Canada? Yes, I am. I am. Um, at a very young age, um, I do think that it's a really nice growth for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that it's a great place for me to like build my life further here. 100%. Mm -hmm. Would you tell anybody else to come to Canada? Yes, you should come to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Nats? Come to Canada, even yeah. if you're broke. <laughs> even if you're broke. Finally. It's a full finally. 360. Yeah, finally. Full okay. 360. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Full, full 360. 360. Yeah. yeah. Same with us. Full 360. Same That's right. Page. Yeah. So, Kirsty, you are from the Philippines. Yes. What are some of the things that you'd say that are, s that, that are similar about Canada and the Philippines? Uh, if, if there's any. Similar? Let's see. Food, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat steak weekly. Yeah. <laughs> Food, no. Transportation is kind of different too because there's like timely buses here. Yeah. And you need to drive mostly, but there the commute is like, you could just take a ride out of your home. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, education, I think it's kind of like the same. Mm -hmm. um, same, mm -hmm. but I think the education here has more depth into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the job market? Is job it easy to market? get a job in the Philippines? 
No, mm. no. Um, for me, it's not because they mostly um, search for like bachelor's degree. Oh. Yeah, that's what they want when you go into the field already. Bachelor's so I'd be unemployed in the Philippines because <laughs> I don't have a bachelor's. <laughs> You'd be unemployed that's too. You're laughing. You'd be unemployed that's too. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Like I think this is the best move that we have made in our lives um, because it's probably because of where we are. Grand Prairie is really the land of opportunities. So come to Grand Prairie. That is come true. to Grand Prairie. Come to Grand Prairie. <laughs> yeah. Have two jobs. You have five, some, five courses. You can do it. You can do it. So she said that's so easy. Five I'm doing five courses and I'm working two jobs. <laughs> Don't trust me. Yeah. But you're almost done, though. Yes. Yeah, what are you looking forward to the most? Oh my God, I look forward to graduate and also like to find, uh, I think my jobs are good, but making um, the most out of it to become a PR. Yeah. Become a PR. We're sending positive vibes your yes, way. Yes. Take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> now, <coughs> are you single? Uh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. No, I'm not. You're not. Yeah, but I don't have kids, so technically single in the birth certificate. Single because you're not married. Yeah. But she's not single and ready to mingle. That's what <laughs> I wanted to know. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. wh when you came to Canada, were you in a relationship already or, or not? Yes, I was. You was, okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about like the dating scene in Canada and stuff like that, but I can't ask you that because... Uh, long distance. Long distance relationship. <laughs> and how is that? What is long distance relationship? Oh, you just need to communicate. That's the, that's the key. Communicate with comprehension. Okay, and I don't think I could do it. No, no. Why? It's no. hard. It looks hard. Oh, it is, but you can make it if you want to. If both of you wants to make it to work. That's right. <laughs> so are we gonna be invited to the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> we love some adobo. Um, I think I'm still young, so let's see. Let's see. Let's <laughs> see. Let's see. So I don't know. We are talking about all sort of stuff in this video, which is fine, which is good. But nuts. What? Simple question. Would you still move to Grand Prairie if you like know what you know now? Back then, if you had a choice to move to anywhere in Canada, would you still move to Grand Prairie? Yes. Opportunities are here, so yes. Bigger cities, no. Why? Because you won't get the same opportunities that are here in Grand Prairie. Mm -hmm. You'll be in the rat race. And I don't want to be in a rat race. You don't want to be in the rat race? No. Mm -hmm. No. No. How long did it take you to get a job, Kirsty, after after you landed? After I landed here, I think it took like two to three weeks to get a job. And then transition, change, changing mm -hmm. jobs. After my first year, I had my internship here at the marketing, yeah. Yeah. Wh which was good. It was a good experience because I was out in the community here yeah. meeting a lot of people. So a lot of persons who are in the bigger cities, they always say that, oh man, I've been here two months, can't find a job. Mm -hmm. Three months, can't find a job. Yeah. I'm not even lying. For me, I got a job less than a week. Mm -hmm. And Nats got a job less, less than, than a week. week. And yeah. Kirsty got a job two weeks. Yeah. So why wouldn't you come to Grand Prairie? I also have friends who, like, before they came here, they were already hard here in Grand Prairie. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But people like the big city. It's just yeah. what we prefer. It, but there's a lot of Filipino influence in Grand Prairie as well. Like, you know, there's a lot of Filipino restaurants. There yeah. is. You yeah. can, like, we can't say the same. There's no Jamaican restaurant here. There's no Caribbean restaurant here. But Filipino food is pretty similar. So we eat a lot of Filipino food. That's yeah, can you cook Filipino food? Yeah, I can. She, she's not going to say no on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Her mom is watching the video like, let me see what she said. Let, well, let me see what she say. <laughs> but Kirsty is a good chef. And Kirsty is actually a very fun person as well. So <laughs> are you planning on starting a YouTube channel anytime soon? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of shy, but I like to post more on Instagram. Shout out your Instagram. Yeah. Um, it's sneakers, S-N-I-K-I-R-S-T-S. That's it. Guys, go and follow Kirsty over there and see all of those beautiful pictures. And <laughs> Kirsty, a proper, proper art girl, by the way. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> yeah, she, she's an art girl. She, proper, proper art girl. Yeah. Yeah, man, 100%. <laughs> the pictures are looking very beautiful <laughs> and stuff. But anyways, just end this right here. If you haven't already subscribed, guys, take a second to hit that subscribe button, smash a like on the video, and drop a comment. And see you guys in the next video.